You were right. I don't know what it's like to be a mutant, but I want to know. Wait, I never meant for you to... Oh, no! Fry! Fry! No! Uh, any effect? Ah! Sorry, I tried to scream, but I barfed. I think I'm knowing what it's like to be a mutant. So what's with all the screaming? Hey, guys. Oh! Fry, this is the stupidest, sweetest thing you've ever done. And you know, maybe now, together, we can be an inspiration to other mutants. I hope so, Leela. Aw, come here. Let me give you a kiss. A uh, hug. Handshake. I'll text you. My fellow mutants, until recently, I dwelt on the surface where a man can gaze up at the sky and wonder without a wet clump falling in his mouth. We can do that, too. <laughs> Who's ready to fight for equality? Yeah! Now that we've got their attention, it's time to hit them where they sit by bending the West Side Pipeway to return all sewage to the surface. Yeah! But who could possibly bend such a huge pipe? <laughs> so lonely. Poor, sad Bender. Hey, buddy. Well, I... Ah, what the heck? <laughs> what goes down must back up. Move out, Fry. We need our most disgusted mutant leading the charge. I'll meet you up there. I need to check out something first. Okay. Violet, you're up front. Hey! Let my people stay! Mrs. Astor, deep in the sewer, we discovered the wreck of the land Titanic, on which your husband land drowned. Inside was something that might interest you. The general ring my husband was to give me in lieu of children. <laughs> so what? I have a chandelier in my car made of those. Not the gem. This passenger manifest. It turns out there were mutants on that ship, working below deck in the sewage galley. Ma'am? I was just a young girl. Strain angels, they called us. When the ship started going down, my mother grabbed me and made for the nearest life car. <coughs> but the places were all taken by surface passengers. As my mother held me tight, I suddenly felt the gentle tap of a cane on my face. I turned to see the kindly smile of Mr. Astor. Thanks to your husband's humanity, I live to raise my own daughter. I beg you, Mrs. Astor, if you truly want to honor your husband's memory, treat these people with dignity, as he did. Thank you, Fry. I think maybe I can stomach that kiss now. What the? Good afternoon. I am Mr. Astor. I did not perish that fateful day, but rather plummeted into the toxic lake, where I mutated and lived in solitude until this ruddy lad here stepped into my mouth and lodged there. Mr. Is that really you? Oh. Hooray! A happy ending for the rich people! <laughs> <laughs>